In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Advanced Lookup Cache Transform, which is part of Task Factory. The Advanced Lookup Cache Transform is the component that is responsible for creating a temporary cache that can be used by the Advanced Lookup Transform, whether it's connected or disconnected. In, in another video, I show the difference between connected and disconnected transforms, or lookups rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to set one up so you can see how easy it is to get that going. Now, in this case, what we're doing is we have a DIM products um, record set or that we're pulling in and let me open that up for us real quick and we can see I'm actually going to delete this real quick and we're going to click OK and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to our advanced lookup cache transform and then we're going to set this up now when you first open it up nothing is set up there are no cache transform columns or anything like that and so what we have to do is we have to set up what is really the most important piece of the whole advanced lookup transform which is creating the new cache connection manager and you can see when you create a new one what it does is it reads the source data so you can see here that this is pretty much a one-to-one -one match well it's not pretty much it is a one-to-one -one match and it pulls all the metadata from the source and so at that point you you're basically ready to go you don't have to do anything else here except choose whether you want all of these columns to be outputted when a lookup is performed if you don't want that, you can come through here and you can just simply select, I don't want these to be outputted, but you want them to be used in the input parameters. Now, <clears throat> what input parameters are, are, and I explained this in another video, so you can watch the input parameters video, but basically it is a temporary placeholder that can be used to retrieve data. So in this case, we're just going to do a product key param. And what we're going to do is we're going to add one single lookup condition, and we're going to say that the product key equals the product key param. So when we set up our advanced lookup transform, we're going to pass in the value of the product key to the product key param. But that's another video and you can look that up. So at this point, you have to have one input parameter condition and you have to set up your columns. And at this point, you're ready to save this. Now I want to explain one other thing here and that is that if you have an in-memory cache, okay, you, that means that all the, the data and everything is stored in memory. If you're going to have a huge amount of data, the best thing to do is to test this to see if, if the in-memory is going to work, first of all. But if, it, if you see that there's a lot of memory being taken up, what you can do is uncheck that and say, I want to define a custom location. And in this case, we'll say this in test. Uh, db. Now if you don't define a custom location and you have used in-memory in -memory cache unchecked, what it's going to do is it's going to create a temporary file in some location that's chosen by SSIS. Now I generally don't recommend that. I recommend that you put it in a location because there could be permissions problems and all that if you run this on a server that has uh, that is pretty locked down. So always choose in memory or define a custom cache location. In this case we're going to use in memory cache. So at this point when you click OK and you save your cache connection manager you can see that it automatically maps up all of your cache columns. Now if you need to add a new one it's very simple. We're going to come in here we're going to actually add this back in so we're going to say French product name and we're going to click OK and then we have to come in here and we have to add it in. So now we've, we, we're going to be caching that data product name and we're going to make it a wide string or yeah whatever there we go uh, and then so that sets up automatically and we're going to say yes we want that output it and we're going to click OK now you're going to see that you're going to get an error right away and the reason for that is that the whatever columns that are in the cache connection manager have to be set up to be filled up in the cache lookup transform here oh the lookup cache transform. So you can see that we have the French product name but it says ignore here. Now you can have a bunch of input columns that aren't mapped but you can't have any columns that are in the cache that are not mapped. So in this case what we have to do is say French product name and we are ready to go. So that's it. That's the first part of getting the advanced lookup ready to go and that's how you set up your cache transform.